Alright, um, been a long time since I've done a tutorial, so I thought I'd do another one real quick. Um, this one's going to be an illustrator. I'm just going to show you how to use a really cool tool called the uh, Envelope Distort, which is used for text. It's um, Illustrator's way of free transforming text. So, let me just spell something really random. All caps usually works the best. It just seems to look the best, at least. Let's see. Just use some random font that you really like. This one looks cool. Alright. So first, something real quick. Uh, just show you how to... This is if you want to manipulate text into a, an object or shape say you have this pentagon and you want to make this the text right here fit into the shape of that pentagon okay so if all goes well this will work you, you select your text you select this which is basically a stop sign go up to object down to envelop distort and make with top object as you can see I mean it warps it pretty major but it's that shape. I mean, probably if I made this a little smaller right here, be a little more easy to read. Okay, so once you have these, once again, it's an object, envelop distort, make with top object. That's a little easier to read. Anyway, that's just if you want some random shape to be made into your, your text. All right. Now there's two separate ways of doing it. There's to make with a warp, which brings up this box right here. Um, click preview. This just bends your text like that. You change kind of like the perspective. Stuff like that. Do different things. Like, uh, let's cancel to reset the settings. All right, now I'll just do the basic ones. There's arc lower, arc upper, arch, bulge, shell lower, shell upper, flag, wave, which doesn't do much for this text, fish, inflates another cool one. Anyway, which is, um, which one is the best, I think, is the one where you can make with mesh. This is a lot like the Photoshop way. You edit how many rows you want, how many columns. As you can see, it puts up um, separate boxes that, and uh, points that you can edit individually. So what you want to use is the direct selection tool, which I think is A. Yeah, the keyboard shortcut is just to press A. And V is for the black arrow, so A. And you'll just click on that point, and then you can drag it up. And this is the angle in which the slope goes. So, holding shift will keep you going in a straight line like this. So, yeah. you can just make it as funky as you want, but yeah, that's the real real quick quick and dirty tutorial for that um, if you really get into it let me show you um, what what kind of stuff you can eventually make so I'll show those in my video after uh, this tutorial is over with there are two examples I said I'd show you this is one fairly simple with warping text it's a, one of them is a self-portrait they're both self-portraits but this one you can see more of my face. And I just warp the text in my brain, basically. This is the other one. This one took me four hours altogether uh, for my graphic design class at college. And uh, yeah, it's very powerful. Just takes a lot of patience, but you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.